Namaste. This is Dr. Jeev Jai Kumar from Chennai. You know, all of us know that uh, the COVID-19 is creating havoc amongst the nations. It is basically a, a zoonotic disease which underwent genetic mutation so that it is able to enter the human body. And after the entering the human body, it is started spreading very fast. As of now, the reason how it spreads is through the nasal droplet, infected droplets getting into the other person. And that is the reason social distancing is the key to prevent the spread of this disease. Are diabetics more prone to get this coronavirus? Is that generally diabetics are more prone to develop infections like any other infection, even coronavirus can also get into that, especially in people who are not under good control of diabetes. Now, why uncontrolled diabetes are more prone to get this disease is when the high sugars are there, hemorrheological changes does happen and the immunity also will come down and so that they are more prone to get infections including corona like any other infection. This is one thing. Suppose you are infected with any virus, not only coronavirus, including mm. coronavirus. Definitely, including coronavirus, definitely if you can see that mm. the diabetes also gets disturbed, the blood sugar will go. What do we need to do when you are infected with a virus? Is that we need to do more monitoring, more frequently adjust the medications and then we also need to instruct diabetic patients about sick day rules that is isolation and then hydrating well eating healthy food monitoring more frequently and if the patients are on insulin also check for ketone bodies and apart from that there may be an increase in the insulin doses or those people who are not on insulin may require insulin as well. So if you try to keep the diabetes under control, it is also said that the hemorrheological changes can come back and also immunity may improve. And so the good control of diabetes is the key for prevention as well as treatment, both. There are two more aspects I would like to bring it to your notice is that there is lot of talk about the susceptibility for coronavirus when somebody is on either AC inhibitors or ARVs. But what we need to understand is that what, what we need to understand is that there is no special evidence and all the organizations have come out clearly to state that as of now there is no clear cut evidence to link between ACRB drugs to be taken as well as susceptibility for infection. So please do not discontinue these drugs. That is number one. Number two is that we know that effectiveness of uh, viral infections we treated with azithromycin and hydroxychloroquine. As far as this thing is concerned, hydroxychloroquine is concerned, a lot of people think that we can take it as a preventive measure. As of now, there are no guidelines to state that using azithromycin as well as hydrochloroquine as a preventive aspect is not there. So these are the two things we need to bear in mind. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. God bless you all. Thank you.